Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky. So, in this video, what I was doing is I wanted to test out my Ascension Crossbows at Armadil because, as everyone knows, Armadil boss is kind of the prominent boss for range. There's no other boss where, you know, range is pretty much required to kill the boss. I know you can kill it with magic, but most people do choose to range. And so, you know, it was time. It was time to test out these sentient crossbows and see how good they were, and if there was food required or anything. So, I must admit, I did eat once on this first kill, and then I did, like, 20 more kills and didn't eat a single food. So, yeah, I kind of screwed up on the first one, but as long as you do the correct kill and disregard this first one. I have four more I'm showing you guys just to kind of get a grasp of how good ascensions are here. Um, as long as you stand in the right spot and use the uh, the butterfly ability, Guthix's Blessing, you will never need food here if you have ascension crossbows and you don't even need death lotus to be honest. I mean you can do it in worse gear but anyway for this kill I decided to zoom up just because it's a lot more dramatic this way and it just looks way cooler and I was also trying to get a thumbnail for the video so whenever you see the video thumbnail here it was taken during this kill so just to let you guys know that but anyway um, yeah I I just wanted to do a quick arm mill trip um, I unfortunately didn't get a drop so don't worry about having to be jealous or anything you don't have to be jealous this video because I did not get a drop um, but anyway, at, yeah, with that Death Swiftness ability, you can hit up to 5k on Armadil, uh, with the Ascension Crossbows, so it's just pretty crazy, you do a whole ton of damage, um, and you just kill her so fast. They weren't a huge amount better than, uh, the dual Chaotic Crossbows, which I used to use here in the past, um, they're noticeably better, but it's not a huge amount better, you can do this with dual Chaotic Crossbows and also use no food if you're good at it and pay close attention, um, however, it's just easier and a bit faster with the Ascension Crossbows, so anyway, um, I've really been enjoying using the Ascension Crossbows a lot, uh, for some Slayer tasks, they're actually better to use than the... Drygore Rapiers, even though the Drygore Rapiers do a bit more damage for most Slayer tasks, there are Slayer tasks that are better to use the Ascension Crossbows on. Um, and I haven't done much PVMing with them. This is the first God Wars boss I have tried out. Um, I might even try out Bandos with range. You might think Bandos with range, that's weird. And yeah, it would be faster to use Drygores, a little bit better to use Drygores against Bandos. But I might try these out, you know, just for the fun of it. Um, maybe even, I don't know, Ceredome. And I think Ceremon's pretty hard to solo. Uh, out of the four God Wars bosses, she is the hardest. As Bandos, Armadil, and Zamorak, you can pretty much stay there for uh as until your prayer runs out really and there's not much else reason to leave because uh if you have ports armor and level 90 weapons uh you can stay at those three bosses forever Ceredoma is different you cannot stay at her forever um or at least until your prayer runs out but there are ways to get at least hour long solo trips two hour long solo trips there and i will be trying that out and making a Ceredoma guide eventually i just really don't like Ceredoma because uh, I have very, very bad luck there, so I'm trying to work out the motivation to go there. But anyway, um, I will be doing a Bandos guide pretty soon, hopefully, uh, as soon as I can get some time and energy to do that. But for now, this is how good Ascensions are at Armadale, so hopefully this video was informative and everything. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around. Farewell.